scientific standpoint, we focus primarily on two scientific equations, and that is speed times strength equals power. Now this is something that we've found in our other training programs in relation to developing hip explosiveness and hip power. We also focused on force equals mass times acceleration. Now this one's a little bit different because when you look at the weight or the mass of a baseball, you're talking about something that is five ounces or less. Not a lot of mass. But if you look at the acceleration that the arm goes through in throwing that small ball, the force levels start to go through the roof. Unfortunately, using stretchy surgical tubing bands doesn't allow the user to replicate the force that the arm and the body goes through when they're throwing a baseball or a softball. When you look at the force that is experienced while using those bands, you're talking about maybe 5 to 10 pounds of resistance. When you look at the force and the stress that an athlete goes to when they throw the ball, for a professional athlete, for example, this could be up to 280 pounds or so placed on the shoulder and the arm. That 5 to 10 pounds of resistance that's attained while using a stretchy band doesn't even come close to preparing or adequately uh, exposing the athlete to that type of stress or force. What we have found though, to do this, you need to use weights in traditional strength training. And to take it a step further, we would actually like to suggest, and in our program what we did was we used the Kaiser Functional Trainer. It is basically an air-resisted or pneumatically resisted piece of equipment that changes its resistance from 1 to 60 pounds with the press of a button. This machine is great also in that it has the ability to change the resistance uh, lever points so the athlete can go through swing motions, as well as throwing motions, as well as traditional rotator cuff strengthening exercises. However, unlike the bands, this machine allows us to use heavier poundages to get the athlete to a situation where they can more closely experience the force and the stress that they're going to experience when they're throwing a ball. Again, I can't stress enough that bands, stretchy surgical tubing, etc. are not going to be able to replicate and adequately prepare the athlete for the force stress that they're going to experience when they're throwing a ball or even swinging a bat at high speeds. The way to do this is to use weights.